Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Melanie King. OnlyFans is actually going to get in trouble for allowing women to harass men for money? Shocker. Please subscribe down below. I really appreciate that. Let's get that chow. It's chow time. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie and my, my, my. The OnlyFans whores are really getting desperate. They're trying to get their clout up. They're trying to get their numbers up. We know in this world that being a um, sex worker, you're supposed to be respected and you're supposed to be, you know, acknowledged as some type of queen. You're, you're a strong, independent woman, if they can even define what a woman is now. But regardless, that those of us who say that this is shameful, this is something that should not be accepted in society and it is something wrong with it that there's something wrong with us for not being woke enough to accept these women being nothing more than um skeet material that, that we we have a problem we're prudes we're we're part of the patriarchy we're misogynistic or a person like me i'm a pick me and i have internalized misogyny even though these women on only fans do everything in the world to get picked by men to be the um that as i call them the skeet the skeet material of the evening for that gentleman and and so, but what we're seeing is now there is a war inside of woke culture where now because of the antics and the lens that a lot of times these, these, uh, women go go to in order to get attention. We've seen um, a, a, a mom who did OnlyFans advertising it at the school, at a Christian school on her car while she's in the car pickup line. They see nothing wrong with it. We see teachers who are doing these things. Mm -hmm. We see all types of things going on. But now women are going into places where men are working in an attempt to have those men harassed. And basically they are harassing the men baiting them into looking at them and then going online and posting that material either on TikTok and saying they're being harassed by men, saying the men are being pigs and they're, they're, they're being sexually assaulted because these men looked at them and said something, to th said something to them. We see this not only with OnlyFans women, but women on TikTok trying to get clout because these gym videos where women are trying to bait men into looking at them, but at the same time say they want to be respected as mm -hmm. a woman. But so now they're going into places where men are and normal places that are supposed to be family friendly and doing foolishness like this. So now take a look at this and see why OnlyFans is in trouble now. And they're going to have to bring in more safeguards, more things, more punishment, because now there is a lawsuit. There's all types of things going on where these, because of the antics of these women and the, the lens that they go to to get attention and to get, you know, money, which the average um, OnlyFans sex worker, oh, sorry, 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 model, the, the average of what they make is about $100 a month. They see the, the glitz and glamour. They tell young women, oh, you can make all this money. It's a way to make quick cash. You can become a millionaire. You can do this. You can do that. When the reality is it's 100 bucks a month in order to basically humiliate yourself for all of all of time and 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 put yourself out there as basically a whore um and so but now take a look at what they're doing what they're doing to men and actually call it and, and trying to say trying to push this agenda online that if men are now looking at them when they go out and do certain things and dress a certain way and showing their body parts in public that they're being harassed and then bringing it on to platforms like OnlyFans and TikTok to accuse men of harassing them when the reality is these women are doing the harassing all in an attempt because we know if you do anything to harass a woman and anything that a woman doesn't like, she can basically get you docked. She can get you canceled. She can get you fired. She can do all types of things, even if she's the one that baits the situation. But this woman in particular chose the wrong person. So a couple of months ago, I was at work doing my job, you know, do, giving out excellent customer service per me, and, and this girl walks up, and she's t I tell me she's a speaker, but she, the way she's talking is very, like, it's different. She's being very inappropriate with me. She's talking like this, and it just makes me uncomfortable, but I'm like, let me just try to do my job, you know, whatever. And then as I'm trying to help her with the speaker, I don't know if you can hear the thing, but I was telling her we could look at reviews online. She bends down to point at something, and I see her bottom of her dress is cut, and I just see her entire fucking ass. Keep in mind, side note, I am gay. I am gay, wrong tree in the wrong neighborhood, wrong fucking area code, like, no, no thank you. 
Um, and it kills me because this happens and I'm like, whatever, you know, I tell my, my leadership and you know, whatever months later around Christmas guy comes to my job. You look familiar. And I'm thinking, Oh, it's probably because I worked at two other locations in three years. No, this guy is definitely on the fruity side and quite flamboyant on the fruity side, but yet they still chose him to do these things on to. I, I mean, I guess they're idiots. They're not making, you know, sound decisions when they're doing shit like this, I guess. OnlyFans. She put this shit on OnlyFans. And I, like, freaked the fuck out. Because, like, I'm like, oh, my God. So I had to hunt it down. He comes back, gives me her at. I find the video. Description of the video. Uncensored version on my page for $4. The killer, her bio, minding my business. Girl, no, you ain't. Because look at where we are right now. Look at, look at me, just potentially could be recognized in this video that makes it like a pervert for the rest of my life, and you don't even care. Here, here I am having a DoorDash shake and to meet, and this girl's living in Miami, living her best life. So as you can see, this woman decided to do this basically faking harassment. We see this all the time, people faking um, some type of racist attack, faking, you know, Karens, faking different things. They're faking all types of things to get clout. These people are usually mentally ill, and we know a lot of these women who do OnlyFans, there is something wrong with them. They are mentally ill for the most part. Like what True. decent woman, again, will want to do this type of thing. They, the only thing they seem to be able to offer is uh, what's between their legs. And even with that, even with the very low, low rates of playing OnlyFans, most of them can't make more than $100 a month. But take a look at what she then, did she take responsibility when, when this man called her out? This man who is gay, he's not even into into women, but she still didn't care. Anything she could do to go to, to show that men are somehow sexualizing her when she's the one sexualizing herself. Look at her response and his response. And we can show you where she's had to make her Instagram private now because people have been coming after her and actually women have been coming after her for faking this harassment. Hey besties, update. The dumb fucking cunt has responded and her response could not have been worse. He got five points. It's so funny that like gay guys just, I guess LGBTQ people just get to say the, the most raunchiest things and everybody's okay with it just because they're, they're fruity or whatever. It's just I always thought that was interesting. Six million views. He is pissed about nothing. Shut the fuck up. Take the free clout and get you some money. You came into my job and harassed me. Okay. You ain't, you ain't going to sit here and tell me how I am. I am and I'm not going to fucking feel about what you did. Okay. Let's, let's clear. Let's clarify that right now. Regardless of all that, I am still trying to speak out against what you did because you are normalizing it and it is not okay. And you not feeling any remorse about it even after I talked about that is crazy. As you can see, her name is Pretty, Pretty Iona, Pretty Yona. And of course, she's a woman of color. I don't know if she's a black woman. I'm sure uh, if she's not black and she's Latina, it'd have been... People will say, well, she's appropriating our hair or something like that. You know, that'll be the, the <laughs> another thing for her to get canceled. But if she is a black woman, which I'm assuming beautiful tattoo on the neck, you know, just a lovely woman. Let's see what her link tree is looking like. Of course, her OnlyFans VIP, OnlyFans $5.99. And, oh, she has a YouTube channel. Let's check out this lovely YouTube what? channel from Pretty Yona. Of course. Oh, hit subscribe. I don't think so, ma'am. I don't think so. We're not hitting subscribe to that. What? They can have it so as soon as you go into the the, the page, the, that subscribe thing comes up? How do you do that? <laughs> hey, anybody know? Let me know. There she is with her booty up there, Ayana Render. Uh, and, and this is, I had to go off of my baby daddy in public. That's the only video she has up there. Um, other than this short here, let's see what her short has to say. This is, this is where society is going. This is where they tell people, conservative people, traditional women, something's wrong with you. If you shame this kind of behavior, something's wrong with me for shaming this kind of behavior and doing this. But now we see how they're even now this, <laughs> they're taking even. 
even guys who are gay, LGBTQ plus, you know, the whole alphabet. I don't even know, girl. I don't know what the whole alphabet is, but they're going, they're, they're fighting against each other. Now these women have, they will stop at nothing to get attention, to get clout, to get money off of a lot of, a lot of simps out here and then continue to demonize women who are traditional or call these things as wrong. But let's look at her. I had told them like before, like I'm going to have a threesome with both of y'all one day. Ain't like, no fucking way. <laughs> I stop. swear to God that if I ain't never told, look. Drop the fucking mic. Stop playing. I see why she has to harass men in public. What? My God. This woman is sub five, probably in the attraction scale. So, but there's nothing wrong, you know. Of course, you can't say that all women are beautiful. All women are lovely, just like Fanny Pack. All of these women are just lovely and they do nothing wrong. It's just men being misogynistic. It's just tr uh, conservative people hating. We're hating and, and we're jealous and we, you know, we're, you know, get your money, girl, get your clout. And if you have to have a threesome with both your baby daddies, Nothing wrong with that girl. Get you some money. I swear, like if they, if I ain't never said it before, they hear me now. I'm telling you. So you would, you would be with two I'd niggas at once. I'd be with both of them. Both yeah, because I got kids. Because your but, relationship yeah. with them, yeah. yeah. That's fucking crazy. So would you be like in a happy family structure with them or some positive? They, shit? I'm trying to. I had told them like before. This is somebody's mother, guys. This is what we've come to. This is the. This is where America is going. This is where the next generation is going. This is where a lot of the left wants us to go towards and say nothing's wrong with this type of behavior. That they, they condone this. They think, and again, we are demonized for calling this out. But let's look at what was her other video here. I had to go off on my baby daddy in public. <laughs> Not trying to be, hold on, let's go back here. Not trying to be funny, it was like a line, there's a line of all these men, or I can't figure out, I thought at first, are these all her baby daddies? She seems to have several of them and very proud of it, but yeah, she, of course, she's calling him the B word. We've seen this time of going off, but <laughs> oh. Women have way too many rights. So lucky that they're women. Oh my God. That man would have laid her out so fucking fast. Wow. I want to feel bad for the man, but you stuck it in crazy. And you see what she's doing to her baby daddy? Her going off on him, hitting him, screaming in his face. And this is what these, this is what these demons think they can get. They, they, they will be in a man's face, do all of these types of antics. And she's the same thing she's doing to OnlyFans, trying to bait men into situations so that if he goes off, if he yells back, if he hits her back, then he's the one that's going to be in trouble. He's the one that's going to go to jail. He's the one that's going to get demonized. He's the one that's going to go get canceled. He's the one that's going to have to go to court, pay bail money, you know, possibly uh, lose his freedom, lose his lose his child access to his child all in an attempt for her to get clout because who was filming this whole thing how did she get the footage right. of her going off on her baby daddy did somebody send it to her someone had to know who she was or she planned it to bait him into True. this situation so that she can get clout and we already know that's what she does anyway but take it i don't even need to see the rest of this foolish actually do you guys want to see it okay we'll play the rest That's crazy. That's crazy. She's proud. That's crazy. 
honestly, it, honestly, the fact that he got a creature, a disgusting protest woman like that pregnant, honestly, he deserves what he gets. Like, yeah. why would you even associate with a woman like that? But clearly that's his taste level. But take a look at what's happening now or the, on the back end of OnlyFans and what could be possibly going down the pipeline in the new rules and regulations because of lawsuits. So it says, citing alleged abuses on OnlyFans, lawmakers call for stronger safeguards. Um, um, and it says it's, it, there are U, the U.S. lawmakers and two in Britain call for tougher safeguards against online sexual exploitation after Reuters investigate this investigation this week identified more than 140 police complaints of non-consensual pornography on OnlyFans and the popular adults only website. It's an absolutely, it is absolutely unconscionable. U.S. Rep. Ann Wagner, a Missouri Republican, of course, the Democrats, the demon rats are going to allow these things to go unchecked, um, said in a statement about the abuses alleged in the complaints. These findings confirm what my office has known for years. Americans are being sexually exploited on OnlyFans, said Wagner, who sponsored a federal law passed in 2018 that allows victims to sue websites that knowingly host abusive commercial sex activity. Congress and federal law enforcement must do more. Uh, through public records requests to the largest U.S. law enforcement agencies and a review of court cases, Reuters identified 128 cases in which Damn. adults complained that sexual content featuring them had been posted on OnlyFans without their consent between January 2019 and November of 2023. I also hear legal challenges grow for website accused of hosting abusive porn. And I'm not going to go into everything here, but we're starting to see a lot of rumblings here because people are posting these types of things. And who are posting it the most? women shout out to melanie she went off i didn't even have much to add to her but i hope the kid gets justice i hope he gets what he gets, deserves a big payout for this especially from only fans please subscribe down below i really appreciate that and i'll catch you guys next time ciao